pray. Amen. Dear God, we thank you, Lord, for bringing us out to the house, your house, one more time to study your word. Father, we thank you for this series, Building Strong Relationships. We pray on tonight, God, that you would speak to our hearts as you always do. Yes, Lord. And we pray, God, that your word would not fall on deaf ears and not only make us hearers but doers of the word. Thank you for those who have joined us on social media, those who are here in the Zion Sanctuary. We ask God that you would uh, protect those who may be on their way here, bring them here safely, God. Now, God, we pray to go into your word. We ask that you would bless us now. Your word is already anointed, and we promise it would not go out to you void, but it would accomplish what you have ordained and reach the target. Bless us now, God. These are our blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Somebody bring me a hand up. Hand up, please. We do have handouts. Amen. We work from. Amen. Thank you. Tonight we are continuing our series on building stronger relationships. Uh, we've been talking about this uh, for a few weeks now. We're coming out of uh, the first uh, book of Corinthians, chapter 13, which has been uh, called the love chapter. Amen. Amen. Uh, we believe that it has spoke to our hearts uh, concerning uh, how to build strong relationships. We've been in an uh, area of the scriptures that we call uh, identifying termites that kind of eat away from our relationship, eat away in our relationships. And so we've been hanging around verse 5 for a while. Uh, and so on tonight, we're going to continue with verse uh, 5. Amen. Uh, we've already, verse 5 reads, Do if not be hated. Love doeth not. Yes. We learn it from someone else. So whether we admit it or not, we too can learn to control our anger. For example, you have, have you ever been in a disagreement with your spouse uh, or relationship person uh, by using loud, harsh words and then the telephone rings? You pick up the phone and in a soft, nice voice, say hello. <laughs> Amen. 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 That's the job calling, so you going crazy when the phone. But as soon as you could, or as we call the pastor calling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you end up going out, you cursing up a storm, everything you just in the phone ring, the call ID says Pastor Pastor Murray. Uh -huh. And you say, mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's controlling your anger. Amen. You just, Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Bible teaches us how to control our anger. Can someone read Proverbs 16, verse 32? Slow to anger. Somebody say slow to anger. Slow to anger. anger. It's better than the might. And right. he that ruleth his spirit, than he that taketh a city. Ruleth your spirit. Control your anger. Amen. Amen. It doesn't say don't get angry. It says kind of get slow to it. And learn how to control it. Amen. Well, well. Because if it's slower, then you can control it better. But if it just comes in real quick and you respond, then you're going to get yourself in trouble. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> You got to kind of be able to identify. Okay, it's getting a little hot, it's getting a little heated. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Let's 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 chill. Yeah. Amen. 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 And you could you could kind of sometimes feel yourself getting there. Yeah. Yes. Amen. 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 And so controlling it is being slow to it, mm -hmm. so that maybe some intervention can happen. You know, maybe the pastor call. <laughs> I didn't have missed up. You get ready to. Put the hammer on them, amen. And, and then the Lord has somebody called, and then you just come back to yourself. Amen. Amen. So today's lesson examines five important actions. So I say five. We're going to five. 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 Uh, uh, required. These actions are required in controlling your anger. Amen. Amen. 
Uh, the first requirement is you got to consider the types of anger. There's different types of anger. Mm -hmm. And so you got to know the different types. In the New Testament Greek translation, there are three different words used for anger. Three different words. The first word is usually translated wrath or thumos. Somebody say wrath. 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 Which, watch this, which is anger uh, that is let loose or rage or uncontrolled outburst of anger. Amen. Uncontrollable rage. Amen. That's when you have lost it. Yes. Yes. Thumos. And, and you're mostly two after that, too. So two both. Amen. 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 You ever had a two most situation? Yes. yes. I guess as you grow older, you're supposed to have less two most. Yes. Amen. Because a baby has a lot of two most. Oh, yeah. yes. Over <laughs> minuscule things. Amen. A baby will two most all night long. That's right. Let them get hungry enough to eat change and something yes. they right. Mm -hmm. They will keep you up at night. And through most is like the louder you just, the more you ignore them, the louder they just get. That's right. Until they be coughing with it, they cry so much. <coughs> they jump. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because they done been through most and all night long. And some of us, even when we get grown and supposed to be mature in Christ, we still end up getting into some through most. That's right. Man. But you got to really watch that. Amen. Because through most can take you to some deep places. Mm -hmm. The Bible commands us. To get rid of this kind of anger. Can someone stand and read Ephesians 4 and 31? And please read loud so they can hear you on, on the camera. Yes. Ephesians 4 and 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Ephesians Amen. 4 and 31. Thank you. While you're standing, can you read Colossians, Colossians 3 and 8 also? But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communications out of your mouth. Amen. 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 What she said is, thank you. What she read is that, and what Paul is teaching us in Ephesians and in and, and Colossians, you need to take that stuff off. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You're a child of God? You're not supposed to be out there in the middle of the street cussing and fighting and stuff. Amen. You're not supposed to be in your home. Amen. Cussing and fighting, it ought not be. Amen. And I've seen through most in church meetings. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Come on, somebody. That's right. Yeah. And that ought not be. We are directed, amen, to get rid of this kind of anger because it's very dangerous. Yes. Yeah. Amen. The second word translated for anger found in the New Testament, the Greek word orge. O R G E with an accent over the E, orge. It is less sudden in occurrence than thumos, but it lasts longer. Orge is a controlled anger that seeks revenge. Well, This is the kind of anger that King Saul had towards David in 1 Samuel 18. David was playing soft music for him, but he had this, or Saul had this orge type of anger, and that'll make you sick. Because you stay angry and with that resentment for a long time, Amen. it eats away at you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen? Amen. Some people might have forgotten what you are angry about. No. Yes. But because yes. you remembered it, Amen, it eats away at you. Amen. Anybody ever had that? I had that. And sometimes that lingers on in the church, too. Yeah. Yes. People got that orgay anger toward and resentment toward other church members. That lasts a long time in families, too. Yeah. Sometimes you can't even go to the family reunion without some orge breaking out. That's right. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen? Because of a deeply Amen. rooted and unforgiving and, and unresolved yeah. orge type of anger. That's right. Amen? Amen. Yeah. And it keeps us sick because it keeps you from growing. Amen? Amen. It doesn't make you go out outburst sometimes, but it just makes you, you know, you just can't stand that person. Give them the evil eye. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. You, you, under your birth, what's in your mind, you kill them a couple of times in your mind. <laughs> if, if, if your mind, if your thinking was, was, a, was a manifestation, that person would be dead yeah. and buried. Amen? Or you'd have killed them a long time, many times in your mind. 
Come on. You sit there and look at them in church with an evil eye, amen. Or on your job or in your family, amen. amen. You got people that's married to one another, amen. Jesus. They got that all gay type of anger toward each other. Yeah. Glory. Amen. Amen. It festers. And if it's not dealt with, yes. amen. 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 It could turn into thumos. That's right. Amen. 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 And then the third word for anger is paragismos. Paragismos, which means to be provoked because of an offense or a provocation. To be provoked. Amen. It is being angry with the offender. It is the word used in the last phrase of Ephesians 4 and 26. Ephesians 4 and 26. Can someone stand and read that, please? Amen. Amen. In other words, don't let the sun go down on your provocation. Mm -hmm. Or it can be interpreted as never go to bed angry with somebody. Amen. 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 Uh, you ever had somebody, you ever had that pearl please just smoke type of an anger because of what somebody did? Yes. We're supposed to practice forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't forgive, amen, that power gizmos, amen. Sometimes it's normal to have power gizmo because the person did something that was offensive, said something that was offensive, amen. but you've got to have control over your anger or that power gizmos, amen, could lead to a, 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 a orgay type of an anger, which can eventually lead to a thumos. Right. And then the next thing you know, you got grown folks out there fighting. That's right. You got women out there fighting over the man. That's right. Come on. Can I get a witness? And, 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 and that ought not be. That's right. no. So once we identify how these different types of anger is, we can realize and we can stop it in its tracks before it, uh, what they call it, escalates. That's right. Yes. Amen. And when it escalates, amen. All right. It's out of control. The word translated is not easily proposed. Paroxenon. Somebody say paroxenon. Paroxenon. And that is in 1 Corinthians 13 and 5, which is where we are tonight. It is a form of the word translated wrath. And in Ephesians 4 and 26, it is found. Uh, a reason we should never be angry with a person is that it is very difficult to love them and be angry with them at the same time. It is difficult to be angry with somebody and love them at the same time. Very difficult. When couples go to marriage counseling, they often say, I don't love him anymore. Or, I don't love her anymore. Then they say this about their, I think they say this about their spouse out of anger. Amen. Amen. Because you loved him last week. <laughs> you fell in love with him. With her. Amen. However, when the anger goes away, then the love will return. Well. That's why sometimes it's best, baby, just to take a time out. All right now. Amen. Go to neutral corners. Amen. Bro, get in the car and go for a ride. Yes. Sis, amen. Work on some sewing or some crocheting or whatever. Amen. 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 Take a time out and don't let the sun go down. It resolve. Yes, resolve. If at all possible. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Anger is almost always the first thing that must be dealt with before marital relationship problems can improve. If you could just control that anger, that part, uh, and not let it get progressive. Amen? Amen. Uh, some people might have to go to counseling. Whatever you might have to do, but you have to be able to identify the different types of anger and be slow to it before it gets to the ones. Because there are a lot of people that's in prison now Amen. because of thumos anger. Amen. There's a lot of people that have gotten divorced because of thumos. Amen. It got to be too 
dangerous down. Here come the restraining order. Come on, somebody. Amen. Here come the police have to be called Amen. and remove somebody out the home. Amen. Amen. But now the thing about marriage is that y'all are one, so it takes both people to be able to be willing. Amen. 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 To identify it and work on it. Amen. Once there's a breakdown in that, then it's hard to kind of come together. Come together and stay together. Amen. That's right now. And then I, I dare to even say that sometimes it's best just to but I've counseled some. Ill, and there's one uh, way to get divorced in the state of New York is irreconcilable differences. That's right. There's some stuff that's just irreconcilable. Yeah, yeah, Amen. 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 So y'all are better. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe not even living in the same state. That's right, Amen. man. Come on. Amen. That's right. Preach, Pastor. Preach. All right. Don't you? Amen. Yeah. And so, you, you know, but yeah, if you can identify it early enough, it doesn't have to get all the way to a level where, you know, people make mistakes. Yeah, amen. So through most is that rage, you lose your mind kind of. You, uh -huh. you start talking and saying things that you end up regretting later. Amen. You don't even amen. really mean right it's out of control now. Right. Amen, but you have to be able to control it. Right. And you can control it. Yeah. We're going to get to that, but you can. But you have to be able to uh, admit it, amen. And some of us thrive in different types of these angers. You got some people that's all they've learned how to have uh, or, or, or deal with situations is through most. Yes. Because they come from a violent background. Yes. They come from with that, yes. that kind of fight and throwing dishes and stabbing yes. people. Amen. That was the order of the day. Yes. You got plates, you got houses, hey amen. Everybody in the bedroom sleeping with a knife under their pillow. That's right. Come on. Right. And that's how they exist. That's right. That's what they know. Amen. That's right. Then you got that all gang, amen. Come on, somebody. And it's carrying this resentment. Yes. Just over and over again, seething, amen. You just like something is just you about to ball over. Amen. You about to some people say I'm about to lose it. Yeah. Amen. And some people didn't come from environments like that where it was a powder keg. One thing could happen. That's right. Who ate and drank all the juice? That's right. <laughs> and sometimes when I was a kid growing up in the projects, we go over, I go over different how friends' houses, and all of them had that different type of stuff going. Amen. You can tell me, like the organ is, like I said, it's like it's kind of controlled a little bit, it's silent, but you can tell there's tension. Come on, somebody. Yeah, come on, yeah. 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 And I'm yeah. like to my friend, look, man, we got to go, man. Your dad is like kind of like, yeah. hey, man, or do you? I went to some of my friend's house where there was that thumos, hey, man, people were throwing stuff and they throwing stuff. And oh. it's all right. I said, nah, son, they're getting ready to kill each other. Nah, man, that's just how we do. <laughs> we got family down the street, amen. You always got, they always got the peace police in front of their house. Amen. There's always fighting going on, amen. I lived over somebody, under somebody who was through most. They were just, stuff was crashing all time tonight. All right, man, come on. Amen. Amen. And I beg you to say, you got some churches that are have these different type of things going on. Yeah. There's some deep rooted stuff going on in there. Amen. 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 There's, oh, there's some thumo. You can't go to some of these church meetings and oh, it's, it's on and popping. That's right. Amen. Amen. People Amen. bringing weapons. Yeah. That's right. Amen. 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 I ain't talking about Zion. No. Yeah. We ain't never had that in Zion. No. Um, got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> there a way. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And then there's that paradismos, where just somebody can just easily provoke you. It's just, it's one of those situations, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes I've seen siblings get like that, have these little cat oh, fights and yeah. stuff. She just, you know, you just said that because you always trying to provoke me. You know, you, and, and you know what? I've taken your stuff for a long time now. I ain't taking no more of it no more. <laughs> Today it ends right now. And you have sometimes siblings mm -hmm. out there duking it out. That's right. Amen. Yeah. But there's some stuff that just wasn't dealt with. Amen. Amen. That's also like when you're bullied. And you got to sometimes have that survival uh, type uh, technique or skill. Anger is given to us as an emotion, and sometimes it's needed, amen, to protect yourself. Amen. Uh, what I'm talking about, you ever see some people that just can't never just get angry, and they just let people just wow. do whatever they want to them, amen? Now listen, yep. I, 
It's okay, yeah. you know. Then you keep it all within yourself, amen. Yeah. But look, it says, be slow to anger. Sometimes you need to be angry enough to put somebody out. Yeah, come on. Sometimes you need to be angry enough to call 911. Yeah. Everything is not okay, amen. You just cannot treat me any kind of way. Come on, some people need to, you need to be able to get angry sometimes. That, what they just did, that should have upset you. Amen. 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 I'm not saying take it to all gay or keep it like within yourself until something happens or go to do most. I ain't saying get violent. Amen. But be angry enough to take some action Amen. for yourself because you love yourself too. Come on, Amen. man. Reach out. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Yeah. yeah. Um, Okay, so not only do we need to be able to consider the types of anger to control our anger, that's the one requirement, we also need to contemplate the consequences of your anger. If you're writing notes, contemplate the consequences of your anger. Here we go. Controlling your anger requires the motivation to work on it. If you know you got that anger issue and it got outbursts like that at some time, Lord, work on me. Amen. That's right. Amen. Before it gets to be too bad. Amen. As someone has said, when you are angry, you will make the greatest speech that you will ever regret. <laughs> when you're angry, you will make the greatest speech that you will ever regret. We have all said and done things in anger that we deeply regret it. Amen. 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 Can I get a witness? Yes, amen. Can, can, can someone just say amen? Amen. 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 Uh, 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 listed below, watch this, are three consequences of failing to control your anger. Three consequences. The first thing is anger makes us look like fools. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Show you right. Uncontrolled anger. Makes us look like fools. Like fool. Come on, Pastor. Anger has been called temporary insanity. Yes. I've seen some people lose their mind. Yes. Yes. Sir. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 And look foolish. Mm. Yes. You ever, I, don't, I don't know what kind of street thing. You know, some of y'all maybe grew up on one of these blocks where it just was. We used to have a block party sometimes. Yes. And. At the block party, you got all kind of people coming, yeah, yeah, yeah. coming yeah. visiting, you know, to hang out. Yeah. But then you got this thing called alcohol. Yes. Come on. Alcohol. Yes. Alcohol and thumos mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't mix. Not, <laughs> not a good combination. Alcohol <laughs> and organ. <laughs> Don't mix. Amen. Ooh. Amen. Alcohol and paradismo. Don't mix. Don't mix. Come on. Because like if it's paradismo, which is anger that provokes somebody to did something to you an offense, and you are kind of they a little what's the word tipsy. Tipsy. That's the word. Yeah, that's a good word. They they a little tipsy. Yeah. You a little tipsy. Come on, man. Yes. Come paradismo on. can do something as simple as step on your foot. Come on, your feet. man. Come on. I've seen people at the club. Get their feet stepped on? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And just because they have oh. that thing, <laughs> yeah. it's gone. it goes off. Mm -hmm. And then all gay with alcohol. When you have a resentment about somebody that's deeply rooted, mm -hmm. but now there's alcohol involved. Yeah. And so now you begin to swell up by thinking about that resentment and what they did to you. And how they ain't never apologized. And now they got to be, they learned they have to be dancing at the block party now. Nice. Or she, I know she's the one that took my man about five years ago. Amen. She used to be my best friend. Amen. So the alcohol starts uh, lowering your judgment, amen, amen. and amen. your animation. And, and, and then fights break out. And then now you got a person that just got through most problems. They always angry, they, they violent with some alcohol. Mm. Amen. I've seen so many people say he used to come home and drunk all the time and beat my mom. Amen? So, Amen. anger makes us look like fools, especially when there's other things that's added on to it. Temporary insanity. Amen? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we wake up sober the next morning in jail. Right. Sometimes bloody. Right. Sometimes not remembering 
where our anger took us. That's right. Come on. And you got to be told what your charges are. Because you acted like a straight fool. <laughs> come on, somebody. And the police have to come. They have to tase you. They have to cuff you up. They have to come on, take you down to the ground. That's right. Come on. That's right. And now you in jail the next one. Now you walk. And you're wondering what happened. Come on. Amen. And somebody needs to tell you how you acted. Uh -huh. and, I, and sometimes it's not even alcohol. Anger is, is like a, 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 a narcotic. Amen. Come on. It will get you beside yourself and you probably yeah. will lose it and then even remember, amen, what you did. Amen. Because the, sometimes anger can make us black out. All right, now. Show you right. And that's the devil really coming in and causing you to do something that you're going to be sorry for later right. and just really act like a fool in the process. Right. Come on. Look what it says in Proverbs 29 and 11. Because someone stand and read that. Proverbs 29 and 11. A fool uttered all his mind. All his mind. All. Amen. Amen. All. That goes back to the family reunions. Hey Amen. You got that one person. Yes, sir. They get a little drink in them. Lord have mercy. They telling it all. That's right. Everything. I never did like you. Um, all right, now, come on. Your baby loved me. Mm -hmm. All kind of crazy stuff. Y'all ain't never seen that scene? Yes. yes. You, 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 it'll make you other things uh, that'll make you look like a fool. Because some things are not meant to be uttered. Amen. Amen. But that anger will make you say some stuff. Come on now. That you'll regret later. Sure you ever see the person that, uh, it was this one man, he was on his job, and um, he, they was, uh, the rest of the employees were telling him that you're about to be fired. <laughs> you better get ready. Because <laughs> <laughs> the, the boss called him in, amen, for a meeting. And the person, you know, they always got some people that knows all the business and think they do at the they job. Do. Yeah, they do. And they told this man that he was about to be fired. Now, he had some uh, all gay anger about his boss. He was holding some stuff from like about a year ago when the boss told him to do something he didn't like. All right. Amen. Okay. So instead of him uh, going in, it's just that he just let it, uh, it, it was like seething. And um, so he got called into the meeting with his boss. It was just a rumor. It wasn't true. The boss was not going to fire him. The boss was going to give him a promotion. Well, he goes in the office, well, and, and, and you know he figured I'm gonna quit before they fire me. He uttered all his mind. He told the boss what he thought of him. He told him that he made a pass at his wife at the Christmas party. X, Y, and Z. <laughs> and the boss boy looked at him like, "Man, is you crazy?" Amen. Because sometimes people can tip your anger if it's there, and the devil can take it and play with it yes, and cause you to mess up, amen. Yes, so they had to end up calling security yes, to escort this man out of his job, and he was going to have a bit of emotion. <laughs> Somebody said anger can make us look like a fool. Anger can make us look like a fool. And not only that, but anger, if you're taking notes, anger makes conflict Works. Amen. It's like fuel, isn't it? Yes, Amen. What happens when someone gets mad at you? Mm. You naturally get angry at them also. Yeah. Does that make things better or worse? Mm -hmm. Of course, it makes things worse. So what does God tell us in Proverbs 15 and 1? Proverbs 15 and 1. Okay. A soft answer turns away wrath. But grievous words stir up anger. A soft act, a, a, a answer can turn away wrath. Yes. Amen. Yes. You don't have to add more fuel to it. Yeah, come on. You know, even though you might be upset, but we need an adult in the room. Amen. Come on. Well, I know, I, I know you really didn't mean that right now. So we just come. Why don't we just take a time? Yeah, right. yeah. Or, or it seems like you're just not at the talking stage right now. Come on. So why don't we just discuss this a little bit later? Come on. Amen. 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 But grievous words stir up anger. They come back at you, you come back at them. And it go, they come back at you, then you come back at them. They come back at you, then you come back at them. And that last one, you cut them too bad. All right, sure did. You went to a place with them. 
Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. They, 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 they didn't want to go. Yeah. Yeah. And you said some things. Because right you uttered all your mind. Come on, somebody. Amen. And now yeah. it's on and popping. Time to fight. Can I get a witness? Amen. <laughs> but you can make it better instead of make it worse. If that person is not really ready uh, to calm it down, you get ready to calm yourself down and you pull yourself away. Okay. And sometimes you have to swallow your pride, take it on the chin high, and you got that. But a real man know how to kind of walk away to de-escalate it. Come on, man. Because the more spiritually mature you get, you don't have to approve, approve nothing to anybody. Come on, man. Amen. 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 Remember when you was a kid, they used to have that thing when I was a kid, they put a stick on your shoulder. Sure yeah, knock it off. Knock it off. <laughs> I can answer to a little line, amen. Come across that line. <laughs> that line. Amen. Yeah, cross yeah. the line. Amen. Yeah. Then he got crazy. Like, Go ahead, shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Go ahead. Shoot me. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. He didn't really mean that. Amen. Hey, do no, you ever see something like that? Yeah. yeah. It just escalates. And then we're in trouble. Mm -hmm. But not only. Uh, that but anger causes other sins. When you become angry, the volume of your voice increases. Did you know that? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Have you ever been angry? Oh, yes. And someone said, You don't have to yell. <laughs> <laughs> and you shout back, I ain't yelling! That's right. <laughs> yes. Come on, Pastor. Say it, Pastor. That's right. Preach. It's rude to yell at people. In fact, it's a sin. Don't believe me? Someone read Ephesians 31. Because, well, Ephesians 31 commands us to get rid of all that drama. And it calls us, it calls drama proge, which refers to shouting complaints or insults during an argument. Now, am I hitting on somebody? It refers to shouting complaints and insults. And when it, when it gets like that, Sister Jackson, nobody hears anyone. Amen. And some people operate like that. Oh, yeah, now. Come on, now. Watch this. Because of anger, mm -hmm. about 4 million women are abused and battered each year. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm. Anger. And about one million children are brutally abused by their angry parents. Well, well, yes, you're right. There are so many people who are in prison, both physically and mentally, well, because of anger. And this is because of this biblical truth that is found in Proverbs 29 and 22. Can someone please stand and read that? Proverbs. 29 and 22. Pastor teacher, as angry man stirred up strife and a furious man abounded in transgression. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 29 and 22. See, you might got arrested for the strife yes, yes. or for the transgression, mm -hmm. but it was anger that precipitated it. Amen. 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 Anger can take you to a place mm -hmm. that that one moment of in, of temporary insanity mm -hmm. can leave you in prison for the rest of your life. Amen. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, death row. Amen. 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 Death row. Yes. That's right. Hurting somebody yes. that you really love. Amen. Come on. Come on, somebody. Amen. Because you couldn't control it and it caused something else. Amen. Amen. So, in other words, anger causes us to commit many other sins. Because when we lose our temper, mm -hmm. we can lose our spouse. Yes. Yes. When we lose our temper, we can lose our children's love and respect. Yes. We can lose our best friends. Yes. We can lose our jobs. Yes. And anything else of importance. Because when you lose your temper, you always lose. Come on, All right? Yes. It can cause other sins. But third, we need to also, as a requirement to control our anger, 
We need to concentrate on the cause of your anger. Someone say concentrate on the cause of it. Concentrate on the cause of your anger. Anger is like one of those red lights that appear on the dash of your car. Anybody got that a red light? Oh yeah. It lets you know when something's wrong, right? Yeah. Anger is neither a primary emotion nor a root problem. It is a symptom. Mm -hmm. But anger is a response to watch this to three things. Mm. Hurt, frustration, or fear. You know, being threatened. Therefore, when we are angry, or sense ourselves becoming angry, we should ask ourselves, why am I angry? Am I hurt? Am I frustrated? Or am I fearful that I feel threatened? Yes, sir. That's it. That's true. That's it. That's true. When you are angry, you don't think very clearly. Then we should ask, why am I hurt? Why am I feeling hurt? Why am I feeling frustrated? Or what am I fearful about? So if the answer doesn't come immediately, what do we do? Ask the Lord for help. Go to a quiet place and say, Lord, why am I feeling this? I don't want it to go somewhere where I don't want it to go. God, ask God to help you understand why are you angry? Lord, am I hurt? Lord, am I frustrated? Lord, am I fearful? Even if you think you know the answer, ask God anyway. Because the Bible tells us that our heart is deceitful. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. Sometimes we're deceived by it. Yes. So you need to ask the Lord, Lord, what is this? Is this Satan trying to come in and trying to get me to do something that's going to cause me some difficulty or make a bad Hallelujah. decision in my life? Hallelujah. Come on. Amen? Come on. It's normal to be frustrated. Yes. It's normal to be uh, hurt. hurt. It's normal to be, at, come on somebody, it says slow to anger. It's normal to be fearful. Yes. Amen. But the sin comes in and where does that take you? What does it make you do? Yes. Amen. Amen. And so we need to really look at that. Mm -hmm. We should ask next. What do I want from this encounter? Do I want to ruin my marriage? Do I want to hurt my kids? Do I want to look like a fool? Do I want to lose my job? Or any number of bad things? Amen. Amen. No, you don't want any of those things, correct? Amen. Therefore, decide on a constructive alternative for venting your anger. <clears throat> and the best response for a positive outcome. Amen. Focus on that. Amen. Give yourself some time to think. Just don't go from anger to reaction. Amen? Amen. Slow to anger. Yeah. Ask your, take, take some time to ask yourself that question. Calm down. Get your breathing under control. Amen? Because you, you get ready to get insane. Some people start, their eyes start rolling around. Can I get a witness? They, they face the flesh on their face start shaking. Can I get a witness? Anybody ever seen red? Oh, yeah. Help me, Holy Ghost. You got so much faith, you see it red. Amen. You, you're blinded. Come on, somebody. And sometimes you need somebody to smack you back into reality. Get, I mean, a kind slap. I remember. He said, Oh, thank you. 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 That was the only way to kind of snap me back. Amen. You have to slap the out of me. The anger. Amen. Amen. You never seen that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. go black. That's right. Black. <laughs> black. Yes. Right. Perfect. That's what my mom used to say. Boy, I'll slap you in the next week. That's right. Come on. What you feel? Amen. Amen. Give me a reality check. Bring me back on earth. Come on. Can I get a witness? Because I ain't going to have you out of space somewhere rotating around the moon on the way to Mars. Can I get a witness? And sometimes we need God to smack us back to reality. Amen. And I said, thank you, Lord, because Amen. I was thinking some stuff. Can I get a witness? I was thinking some crazy stuff. I don't want to get arrested. I don't want the handcuffs on me. I don't want to go down to the county. Can I get a witness? I don't want to restrain anybody. The kids afraid of me now. They hate to see me come. 
my, 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 my wife is, come on somebody, all oh, crazy and scared of me right now. Because I wasn't, can I just say this? Because I wasn't mad enough, amen, to be able to control my, myself and my anger. Yes. Oh, because a lot of this stuff can be prevented. Yes. Yes. Can I get a word? Yes. Yes. Oh, I hope this word, I hope this word, I hope this word reverberates all over this world. I don't know what's going on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right Thank you. But I hope a lot of men yeah. and women, because women. Yes. women got anger issues too. Oh, yeah, we got some women that are capable of domestic violence too. Yes. I hope you're listening right now. Amen. Get yourself yes. together. And especially if you call yourself a man of God, amen. 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 You you a deacon or you talking about you're saved now and you're an elder and you got this problem going on. Do you know that there are too many preachers abusing, physically abusing their wives? Amen. Amen. You sit in the church on Sunday serving communion, can I get a witness? And you are beating your spouse at home. Or, or, or at minimum cursing them out. Help me, I'm trying to help somebody. I'm just trying to help somebody. I'm telling you. Amen. A wrathful man stirs up strife. Amen. But he that is slow to anger appeases strife. Come on. Amen. The secret for controlling your anger is to get beyond the anger and get to the root cause. Amen. And go for the best possible outcome. Amen. And so people are just walking around angry. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, man. And when you mix that with drugs or alcohol, my God. it's a recipe for disaster. Amen. <clears throat> Next, a requirement for anger constrain your words. Constrain yeah. your words. Amen. When you are angry, my brothers and my sisters, the best thing you could do is not say anything. Come on, Dad. Or try to keep your words to a minimum. Come on, Dad. Amen. Amen. Can I get a witness? Yes, sir. Amen. Right here. When you do that, you are immediately taking control of your emotions. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Because when your emotions are out of control, not only does the volume of your voice increase, but also the amount of your words. Yes, sir. We must remember. As the writer wrote in Proverbs 10 and 19, can somebody please read that for us today? Read that word in Proverbs 10 and 19. Can someone stand and read it? Please. Come on. In the multitude of words, there have been not saying but that refrain his lips is not In the multitude of words, there wanted not sin. But he that refraineth his lips is wise. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, zip it. Zip it up. Boy, boy, zip boy, it up. Boy. And some of us, help me, Holy Ghost. Some of us know how to cut deep. Come on with that. Yes, Our minds is like a knife. Can I get a witness? Ooh. It will cut. Some people just know how to say it. Yes. Look, don't get the wrong person all upset, amen, amen because, amen. you know, because they know how to get this thing going and going and going, and, 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 and they don't know how to call somebody, they ain't there yet, and I'm talking about folks in the church, amen. look, I'm saved, but I ain't all, I ain't fully delivered, so the best you, the best you can do is don't provoke me to get to that place, amen, because I ain't all the way saved, and don't tell me it doesn't happen. But it ought not happen. This means speaking too many words can lead to sin. Therefore, be sensible. Somebody say sensible. Sensible. And learn to zip your mouth. Hallelujah. God wants to bless you, but your mouth keep getting in his way. Amen. Finally. Confess your anger as a sin. Confess your anger as a sin. Amen. Stop making excuses. Simply admit your anger is a sin. It's a sin. Because it leads to wrath. Amen. God tells us wrath, which is anger, which is, is wrath is anger let loose. 
and it's cruel. It's right there in Proverbs 27 and 4. Proverbs 27 and 4. It says, wrath is cruel and anger is outrageous. So don't try to minimize it. Confess your anger as a sin. Have you ever been cruel to someone you love? Amen. I have. Amen. When I have vented my anger, I was cruel to my wife, to my kids, in my anger. I have said things that I would give anything to have taken back. Amen. And I think we all have. We can just admit it. Come on. When we confess our anger as a sin, the first thing we need to remember is what King David said to Prophet Nathan in 2 Samuel 12 and 13. What did uh, David say to the prophet? The Lord, the Lord also hath put away thy sin. Thy shall not die. Amen. 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 The Lord hath put away thy sin. Thank you. Amen. Thou shall not die. Confess it. Amen. Amen. And you know, it's, 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 a, it's a certain level of maturity when you can admit that. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 I'm a long yeah. man, but I ain't saying that that's what caused my, amen. But I know that she did, you know, or I don't know if she professed it or what, but you know, they go both ways. Both ways. Amen. 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 And so, Thank you, Lord. I've learned not to, uh, to have whooped my kids yeah. when I was anger, oh, angry. Yeah. Because when you whip your kids when you're angry, you can hurt them. Sure. Amen. Amen. Sure. And so I learned how to, you know, just take a ride. Yes. And then, you know, going forward, I, I learned how to not let, you know, that anger get me to the point where I say something that's yeah. hurtful to somebody I claim to love. Yeah. That's right. Come Amen. On. Amen. On. Amen. Amen. And we all need to think about that. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes, Pastor. Because you can't take them words back. No, no Pastor. Once they're out there, they're out there. You can't put the TV back in the bottle. Sure enough. No. Come on, Pastor. Jesus, thank you, Lord. You're right. Thank you so much, right, Lord. Do you remember that? Thank and sometimes you. say things to your kids. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to be nothing because your daddy ain't nothing. Okay, and some of us are mad at our kids because they look like the dad. Come on, Pastor. <laughs> and so we're angry at that particular child. And that child goes through. through. <laughs> they go through. They do. You ever see some mothers that are just angry at their children? I know. The Bible said, don't provoke your children to anger. And sometimes the kids just have enough. And you see kids doing some crazy oh, things too. Now they don't got into control anger. Now everybody do most. There's this uncontrolled rage. Amen. And some people are surviving like that. And that's no way to survive. Because sooner or later, like a powder keg, sooner or later it's going to explode. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anger is first and foremost a sin against the Lord because it breaks his commands. Come on. Well, so you need to look at it like that. God ain't yeah. commanded you to cuss nobody out. Yes. Come on now. <laughs> yes, God. God ain't commanded you to be conniving and backstabbing and hateful and resenting one another. God had not commanded that. God had not the author of confusion. We need help, amen. 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 Somebody said we need help. We need yeah. help. Sometimes you gotta get help. It's okay. Jesus can be your help. Yeah. yeah. He can show you the way. Can yeah. I get a witness? He can call all of that rage that's in you. And sometimes it goes from way back to the way mama treated me, amen. So now you start to hate women because your mama treated you bad. So you beat on women and all those things. Or, or sister, you cuss the man out because your first brother, yeah. he did some things, amen? Well, and now you just cuss everybody out. God is not pleased with that. Amen. But he wants to help you. But you have to confess it as a sin. Lord, help me. Lord, I was wrong. Lord, I shouldn't have said that. Lord, that came out wrong. Help me, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Not only are we to confess a sin of anger to the Lord, but also to anyone that our anger has hurt. It is important to always be willing to apologize and make amends. Amen. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Yes, Lord. Some people don't speak for years. 
Right. Siblings. Yes. Church members. Yes. Cousins. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Yes. Somebody need to, and don't it feel better? Ain't it a load yes. off when you could just. But some people aren't willing to do that. Some people Amen. are not willing to apologize. Amen. Some people are never willing to say, I'm sorry. Amen. That's Amen. right. Hallelujah, God. And that's what keeps it just going and going and going. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. But if you look at it as a sin against God, yeah. David said, against thee I have sinned. Yeah. And against heaven I have sinned. Yeah. To look, I'm saying I'm a child of God, so I'm not supposed to be acting like that. Amen. Sister Lee, Preach. I'm supposed to be acting better than that. Preach. Preach. I'm supposed to be able to control my anger because I'm supposed to be full of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost and cussing cannot occupy the same place at the same time. You can't be angry before the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Let's go and apologize. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. That's all it's going to take. And look, you ain't apologizing for their response because they may look at you and roll their eyes and walk away. Yeah. You apologize for you. Because I'm trying to get this out of me. Yeah. I want to be free in the Lord. I want to be blessed by God. Thank so he you. says, make a man. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Boy, boy, boy. Hmm. What a lesson. Amen. Mm. Amen. They might not want to even accept your apology. Yes. And that's okay. So that's okay. okay. Yeah. You did what you spoke. You did what you supposed to. They ain't got to, that's not part of the deal. Amen. But you make amends. Thank you. And that will free you up from, from some stuff. Oh, yes, so that does. the Lord can continue to bless you. Yes, he has, and he will. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Come on, Pastor. Thank you. I think I said something just now. Yes, you did. So, on that note, can we have our conclusion? <laughs> in conclusion. Conclusion. <laughs> All right. In conclusion, the steps to controlling your anger include consider the types of anger, contemplate the consequences of anger, concentrate on the cause of anger, constrain your words, confess your anger as a sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.